We're shaking folks, back with another reaction, back with some more U2, and we're back with more from The Unforgettable Fire. Once again, shout out to both Adams, who have made their catalog available. And yeah, the next tune is Bullet the Blue Sky, and what I reacted to with or without you, not only do I appreciate all the comments mentioning that it was in relation to Bono and his wife, and the complicated nature of wanting to be a musician, and that means going out and, you know, touring, and... Um, you know, being in the studio, on the road, like, you know, doing the work that will allow people to hear your art um, and for it to be successful, but also wanting, of course, to spend time and the sort of tension between that, you know, not being able to live without being the artist that he wanted to be, but not being able to live without her. So uh, I do appreciate all that. But there were a couple people who commented that, you know, I love this tune, but the next track is actually my favorite. So bullet the blue sky i mentioned it at the end of the last reaction it's an interesting phrase it has a i don't know if poetry is the right word but a, like a lyricism to it it sounds like the name of a story um the name of some tale if you will so you know blue sky like the parts independently are interesting blue sky can sometimes mean a big open canvas a, you know a um a complete open arena of possibilities upon which you can, you know, write whatever story you want. It can also mean, you know, going without preparation and you're just blue skying it, you're just pulling something out of nowhere and, you know, trying to present it as, um, you know, careful coordinated thought. My inclination would be to more think, you know, the big open canvas, but bullet, you know, it's a it's the projectile of a, a weapon and thus something which can harm or kill so bullet the blue sky there's this interesting tension with the title so i'm not quite sure what to make of it i'll see what i can catch on the first listen and i do appreciate people who will no doubt um comment on the themes and the lines in particular but here we go this is u2 from the joshua tree 1987 and it's bullet the blue sky
turn the key and just slowly hold up the door As the man breathes into his saxophone And through the walls you hear the city groan Outside it's America artistic and that you know that's the wrong word because that would suggest in some way this was like more artistic from the tunes we've heard to open the album and I don't mean to say that but this is more it's a less immediately accessible track sonically it has more edge more grit more you know dark sonic atmosphere um, and it's a more like sonically challenging tune is I guess what I mean to say uh, but it's masterful and it's, you know, perhaps apropos in one sense, although I was like, oh, maybe poetic is the wrong word. There was like, you know, spoken word poetry throughout parts of the track with some really interesting lines. Now, I wasn't sure what was happening. I was thinking like, wait, you know, are we referencing like, again, American historical, cultural, social themes? And then we get to burning crosses and it's like, okay, I suppose there are different renderings of that, but given things they've already sung about, including Martin Luther King, it's like, okay, like now I'm suddenly thinking very much this probably is an American reference. And then he makes overt reference to America and American cities and like, it feels like there's a number of things going on here, but it seems like that very much is the setting. It's another, um, you know, assessment or expression about American culture, society, um, and perhaps, you know, unpleasantries within that um, uh, history. So ultimately, um, another powerful tune, but again, one where the sonics and the vocal delivery, again, when he wasn't speak delivering, um, wicked sort of bluesy type of intensity to some of the vocal um, deliveries. So uh, a really cool song, again, vocally, but a bit different what when I say that compared to when I've said it in you know recent reactions on this album and the previous one um, so yeah a really interesting tune sonically thematically I wait people to fill in the details to color in sort of the rough sketch that I sort of picked up from that um, but it did seem again like some of the lines beyond just being references to the US there was poetry there in terms of like the, I think there were like some metaphor there was metaphor there was some um, like expressions that, um, you know, where the, the meaning exceeds the literal meanings of the, the words on the page, which, you know, is always a thing when you, whether you're reading um, a poetic text or hearing song lyrics that, again, have historical references, um, you know, emotional sentiment, they mix different aspects of, you know, the human experience and different parts of our brain, if you will. So. I'll stop uh, gabbering away, but this does tend to happen when I hear a tune that makes a big impact on me. And even though, again, it's a bit different when I say that this time, I enjoy it. Because, again, you know, some of the, like, not so much criticism, but some of the people saying, well, you know, part of the reason they begin to be seen in a different light here is because they're making tunes that are, like, bigger and more, like, stadium rock and so on. Um, so it's cool to like hear a tune that's like, hold on, you know, this is a bit like wicked, it has a bit of a, you know, it's not that floaty sentiment and the, you know, Bono's vocals, you know, flying into the 
the heights of the sky. So um, a really interesting one. Uh, okay, I was going to put you in the chair, but apparently me picking her up is like, no, 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 you don't do that. In any case, uh, from a very picky Luca, now she just lays down there. Well, apparently the floor was suddenly more comfortable. In any case, let me know what you think of the tune. I will see you next time. Peace.